Frida Kahlo's painting, My Dress Hangs There, is a painting that represents her unique identity despite not revealing her own portrait. Set against the backdrop of the endless office buildings and skyscrapers of New York City, Kahlo has used a variety of familiar motifs and jostled them against each other, much like a mural in Manhattan, to deliver her criticism of American culture and its way of life. Before we continue, examine the painting on your own. What do you see? We will explore the subject matter of the painting from the center, then the background to the foreground. At the center of the composition is a traditional Mexican Tijuana dress, similar to the ones Carlo wore herself. This dress is hung on a string tied to a toilet bowl and a sports trophy, both of which are placed on Greek columns, surrounded by modern symbols that were prevalent in New York at the time such as an oversized telephone and gas pumps. These symbols represent the impersonal nature of capitalist society and the way in which people were reduced to faceless cogs in the machine of commerce. In the background, we see the Manhattan skyline and the iconic Statue of Liberty, which were seen as symbols of progress, success and freedom. Steamboats can also be seen carrying people and goods across the strait, further emphasizing the industrial and capitalist nature of the city. In the right middle ground, we see smoke towers from factories and water tanks on buildings, a common sight in American cities. An advertisement of American popular cultural icon Mae West is seen on the left, placed in front of Trinity Church, an important religious symbol in the United States. The twist, however, is seen in the window of the church, the Christian cross has been wrapped by the letter S, which transforms it into a dollar sign. This is a clear merger of religious and capitalist icons, and highlights the way in which money has become the new religion for many Americans. The juxtaposition of Mae West and the church also hints that the film star, though revered by many, represents false values vanity and the worship of manufactured beauty. The peeling advertisement reveals the impermanence of such glamour and luxury. In the center middle ground, we see Federal Hall, which is a symbol of Wall Street and the heart of American capitalism. On the stairs leading up to Federal Hall, we see a sales graph, which further emphasizes Carlo's contempt for the superficiality of American capitalism. These indomitable structures, the church, Federal Hall, the factories, celebrity billboards and the skyscrapers, set the background for the lone fragile Mexican dress hanging above the foreground, which displays the hidden realities of America. Here, we see a collage of photographs that depict the poverty and suffering of the lower classes, including bread lines and soldiers marching. These images are in sharp contrast to the glamour and wealth depicted in the middle and background of the painting, and serve to highlight the harsh realities of life for many people in the United States during the Depression era. Overall, Carlo's My Dress Hangs There is a powerful and thought-provoking work that speaks to the artist's own experiences and worldview of the United States. Through her use of symbols and imagery, Carlo invites the viewer to consider the realities of capitalism and the American dream sought after by many immigrants and reflect on the ways in which culture and politics intersect in the modern world. As Carlo famously said, I may be in America, but only my dress hangs there. My life is in Mexico, 